Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 31st till the 6th of uh, September 2020 and welcome back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook and there's also a new page, uh, Charlie's Angel Crowd and that's where I will be doing my workshops. So if you would like to join the workshops after seeing the videos that I've put out there then please uh, get into contact and just apply to be a member on Charlie's Angel Crowd. We'll be interacting there um, with others in the um, workshops. Okay, so we have the uh, Pagan Way and the Avalonian and the Kingdom of the Tarot today and I think they're beautiful cards. These are my newest decks and we start off with the Nine of Cups. So there is a wish coming true for you or a goal. Okay Gemini, it's a good beginning to the week and the Nine is also an ending. Where there is an ending there is also a new beginning. And you have the Knight of Air. This this deck is amazing because it is colourful. The colours just jump off the cards or flow off the cards. I think they're amazing. They're also a fairy tale like. Just look at them. You can see that the horse is going with speed and the knight is clinging onto the horse's neck to deliver the news. This could be news that will clarify things. This could be judicial news, official news as well. You could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian as well on Monday. <clears throat> if you have a friend that's a Libra, Aquarian or a Gemini, you might be meeting up or getting news from them. Who knows? And you, in on Wednesday you have the Eight of Swords. You might feel stuck, you might feel constrained, but that could be because you're a Gemini, Gemini, and you're too much in your head. Perhaps the news has set you to new ideas, or to new uh, bringing ideas into the material world. So, get out of your head, let those uh, ri uh, ropes drop off because they're not tied, and take off the blindfold and look around you. What is happening? Get into action. Step through those swords. There is enough space so that you know what you uh, can see and you know what's happening around you, not just in front of you. So that you can make choices or decisions and don't feel constrained anymore. You have number 14, number 5, so you are a bit out of whack. You're out of balance as you've got temperance. This could be between your heart and mind or your heart and soul or between your work and your home front. So try to get the balance back. Ooh, nice one. Uh, I think you will and spread your wings. This is the message. Spread your wings. Don't be apprehensive to spread your wings. Take that leap of faith. Look again, and I did not see saw, sort the cards out, but you've got a star. So you might be meeting the Aquarian. Again, Aquarian. So Aquarian is highlighted for you this week. Your wish is also coming true because you've got the star. Two cards at the beginning of the week and the end of the week. Wow. And you've got the Six of Earth. The Six of Earth is the Six of Pentacles. To me, that's a share and share alike card. If you are less fortunate, you might be getting a helping hand or a gift from a more fortunate person. You might be more fortunate, so you might be giving somebody else a gift or a helping hand or a listening ear. That is less fortunate than you. Perhaps helping to find their balance back because you are definitely in balance at the end of the week. You've got the Queen of Swords and you are in your element at the weekend. She, the Queen of Swords, could be you, but it, it, you are the King, Gemini, but um, you could also be meeting a Libra, the
the queen is a Libra but don't forget uh, Aquarian or Gemini yourself but you are in your element because you've got a lot of air in your reading this week you've got air here you've got air here um, you've got air here you've got air there and you've got the Gemini Wow so we've got all the three signs here so like I said the two you've got the world you've got uh, if you put these two together then you've got the world the world is your oyster spread your wings like I said don't be scared everything will turn out right you might meet your soulmate in one of these people look at the Sun behind her it's beaming you're both beaming you might just meet your soulmate and you've got number six which means that you're in balance the Queen of Swords she will cut straight through to the core and get down to the nitty-gritty and she will sort out the BS um, if there is any and she will get uh, justice for you she um, she will uh, get clarity for you she is straightforward she will defend you through thick and thin you know that Gemini because you're a Gemini and you're an air sign so you are awesome so if you you need help don't shy away to ask for help perhaps from a Gemini a Libra I mean or a uh, Aquarian or a Gemini because they're lying around you the six of earth okay the overall energy is that you've got the king of earth anything you touch will turn to gold anything that you have invested will turn positively like the king of earth the king of pentacles you could be meeting a Taurus he's the king but don't exclude Capricorn or Virgo there you go and the Avalonian card that you have is the shadow uh, and sovereignty and the sovereignty means that you will be back into your own world in your own self you will have found your balance I think it's a beautiful card that's the cauldron okay balance duality light and darkness union of opposites union of opposites there you go absolutely this is really a Gemini card if you ask me death and rebirth growth and transformation growth and transformation you will be transformed at the weekend or in the week absolutely gorgeous you are bursting forth with potential this card just represents rejuvenation power of the universe with this card definitely that looks more like two worlds coming together wow you just have the ability to create all things from nothing you are so creative Gemini the new birth of a vo and you can avoid the void you can avoid the void because you have all the source the talents uh, the gifts of the gab and the walk and the talk so do it use it use your beautiful wisdom you get things clear across communicate clearly you know how to do it get back into your balance get out of your mind put your ideas into practice and put this is really what it could be trying to get balance with putting your ideas into practice oh I can relate to that okay so there will be news coming news to clarify things up and will bring you back to balance I love this reading although it's very short it is very powerful it's because you've got the two wish cards which are very straightforward there is an ending to difficulties there's new beginnings don't be thrown off don't get any new ideas listen to the new ideas store them don't take too much hay on your fork because um, this will bring you out of balance first work through the old ideas or review the old ideas bring yourself back into balance 
and then carry on with your second wish because it's going to bring back money okay it's going to return this is durability for long and durability and what was it and for long term something will be you're going to do something that will bring its return time and time again you've got the king of the pentacles wow and and you've got the cauldron so stir the pot make your own mixture go for a girl go for a boy love it okay take care and be blessed please share and like and stand in your power okay ciao ciao